here we do what we call a cardiac screening. An ECG is a simple and fast and uh, painless test. Well, and with that we can have a very nice picture of the heart that is, uh, tells us a lot about the heart and if there is any abnormality of the heart. And how efficient is it? Uh, it's pretty efficient for what we're looking for, that means inherited heart disease and uh, we're able to uh, identify 80 to 90 percent of the cardiac condition uh, that we're looking for with this ECG. And this isn't just the ECG, you can then move on and have something else, can't you? Yeah, exactly. I mean, ECG, out of 100 people, maybe 95 to 96, are, I mean, completely normal and can be cleared. Five to six will need uh, to do some other test, and one of these tests is a heart scan here. And with this kind of test, we can clear 90% of the, of the, the remaining patient. Raising money for CRY uh, is helping other, other, other young people with potentially life-threatening illnesses. And Chris Smith had no idea he had a serious heart condition when he went along to a CRY screening event in Preston with his mum six years ago. Chris was swimming at the swimming club and it was a friend of mine. She'd arranged a screening up at my school college. She said, um, I'm taking John along for a screening. What about Chris going? And John went and had his screening and came out absolutely fine. Um, Chris went in and the cardiologist just said, um, we need to speak to you. It's a horrible feeling. You know that something's wrong. Instinctively, you know there's something wrong. But you were a young lad then. What was going through your mind at this point? I didn't really understand what the condition was or, or what it could do or, or anything. Um, and just, just wait until we get the, the proper the proper tests down in London. That day must have had an entirely different complexion to her mum. Yeah. What yeah. went through your head? Why? Why Chris? Why does there have to be something wrong with him? Chris later underwent three hours of surgery to correct his heart defect. And when you came out of surgery, did they immediately have a result for you? Yeah, they, well, they could tell, obviously, with the surgery uh, and then the, the sort of the camera that they used as well uh, and the, uh, the ultrasound that it had gone well. The operation was a success and Chris's condition was totally cured. In 2012, he was a lifeguard at the Olympics and Paralympics and he now swims to raise money for CRY. Many young people present with either chest pains or cramp or breathlessness and a lot of doctors, because the young, fit and healthy, dismiss and don't think to check the heart. You just never know.